What's going on everybody and welcome back to another SD Gundam Battle Alliance video. Today we're going to be looking at the Strike Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed Destiny. Just like its predecessor, this suit is an all-rounder that leans more towards ranged combat. You need two types of blueprints to unlock the Strike Freedom. The first comes from the Stella True mission in Directory 5 and the second drops from Destiny Gundam in the Descent into the Maelstrom Break mission in Directory 6. Its base stats are again pretty standard for all rounders, slightly higher melee compared to ranged, and just like Freedom, its base HP is a little on the low side. Of course, its base physical cut rate is already very high because of phase shift armor. Taking a look at its loadout, just like the Freedom, its main is a beam rifle and both of its sub-weapons are ranged. The first one is its railguns and the second is the dragoons. Keep in mind that double ranged options can hit very hard when you direct cancel them together, making them great for breaking the balancer meter on bosses. I recommend increasing your range stat either through upgrading with capital or using parts because both subweapons and its special are all ranged attacks. As for parts, that's kinda up to you. I personally like anything that increases my range damage or the damage for specific options because as an all rounder your range stat is naturally going to be slightly lower than your melee. You can see here both of my parts aside from auto guard increase my main damage and one increases my subweapon to balancer meter damage. Parts that increase your use rate for your ranged options also work really well, as well as those that increase reload speed. Let's look at some skill recommendations. Like I mentioned in my tips video, Air Rider is a no-brainer for me, getting bonus damage just by launching enemies is too good to pass up. Energy Gain is the other one I'd probably recommend, since it increases the power of your next special attack after using your roll action. When I tested it in a free tutorial, the standard special attack did 3540, and using my special after my roll action hit for 4087 which is an approximate 15% damage increase. Because All Rounder's roll action is kinda mid compared to the other two classes, you should have no problem not saving it and just using it to make sure that your next special attack is powered up. For your third skill, you can use whatever suits you best. Piercer is an option if you're going up against a boss with an anti-beam shield to help bring it down faster, but you could also go for something like Speedster or Combo Meister if that suits you better. Now let's look at some combos that I think work well. The first thing I want to mention is that unlike the Freedom, the Strike Freedom uses dual beam sabers, so he has more hits per melee input for your standard melee attacks. This means that you're probably going to need a little time to adjust to the timing for cancelling into your other moves, because if you hit a sub weapon for example before your melee input is technically finished, it won't chain together as smoothly. I also want to make it clear that the combos I'm going to show you are not going to be any of those crazy ones I see some people doing that last for like 30 seconds or more, and the reason for that is because you're almost never actually going to use a combo string like that in game. Regular enemies are going to die way before you actually finish the whole thing, and even though a boss has enough HP to tank the entire combo, with so many people attacking it at the same time, it's more likely they'll get knocked out of it and their balancer meter will reset. So these combos are meant to be quick and efficient enough to get the job done. Let's start with the most simple combo that you can use for basically any suit that doesn't involve subweapons. Three light hits, a launch attack and a jump, followed by three more light hits and a smash attack. Technically, you can follow up the smash with your subweapons, but if you're using Air Rider, you want to use your subweapons while the enemy is still in the air for the bonus damage. Which brings me to the next combo. Essentially the same thing as before, except instead of the smash attack, you replace it with a regular heavy melee and follow it up with one or both of your subweapons. If you're looking for a quick combo to kill a regular enemy, you can go for something more compact like three light attacks, a heavy, and a subweapon. But again, if you're using Air Rider, you want to be launching your enemies as much as possible, so it may be better to start that off with a launch attack and then do the combo in the air. Of course, if you have the meter, you can use Chain Breaker to extend these combos even further. For example, let's take the second combo and throw in a Chain Breaker in the air to add three more aerial light attacks after the initial three. That small change adds an extra 11 hits to the combo. Just like with the Freedom, the Strike Freedom having two ranged subweapons makes it very strong against large bosses. The Dragoons in particular land 8 hits in a single input and feel very strong and are good for taking out anti-beam shields, especially with Piercer equipped. Its special also fires 2 volleys, which allows for a natural gap for you to switch targets if you want to hit more enemies. Which freedom you enjoy more is entirely personal preference, but I like how the Strike Freedom plays just a little bit more. That's my breakdown on the Strike Freedom, I went into a little more detail this time adding skill, part, and combo recommendations based on feedback in the comments on my previous videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay, let me know what suits you'd like to see next in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one.
ぜすぐにあの二人を止めなかったあのフォートの娘のことかあなたには分かっているはずだもう一度同じことを繰り返させるつもりなのかそれは彼らの問題だ我々は電磁をどうにかせねばならないクアトロタイプ体の力を過小評価してもらっては困るなはい本体の進行ルートを確保し神優くんを探します小隊長さんもゲリラ戦で監視塔を潰しながら進んでね飛ばしてくるかいけ今回のストレンクゲージいつもと比べて規模が小さいそうだね明確なのは神優くんがいないって人だけかなディレクトリーをまたいで知ってしまった結果団メンバーのデータも今のところ無反応だねでもこの時代の火炎モビルアーマーと火星のモビルアーマーその紐付きでブレイク現象が起こる可能性は十分にあるよ小隊長どんなお邪魔虫が出るかわからない用心して進んでこの程度こいつやったでやーかわせるかそれにクアトロ隊員にも手間をかけさせた気にするなそれは私の役目だったのだろう待ってくださいブレイク反応何か来ます何サイコガンダムか地球に降りたと思ったらまた戦闘かまったくガンダムいや違うここは俺たち2番隊が引き受けるガンダムグシオンリベイクフルシティアキヒロアルトランド君見つけた大尉彼は鉄火団っていう民間警備会社の団員です私たちは何度かお仕事したことあって彼が戦っている黒い機体は何だあれはクルーの厄介な無人機ですアキヒロ君軍人さんに鉄火団の力をデータのないモビルスーツキタンズの新型か知らねえぞなんだあいつはこの強烈な戦術まるでこのモビルスーツミスターだあれは私たちの仕組これはこれはなかなかのメンツが揃っているなキュまたガンダムゼータタイプかハーメス・マーキュリーやっぱりあなただったのね何者なんだ本来はあなた方の歴史には存在しないものと思っていただいて結構だがあなた方のたどりその交差点は非常に興味深いこんなところで死んでしまるか俺とシャアのことか今度はパイロットのデータを集めてるの私にはそれを答える権限は与えられてる今のあなたはやっぱり管理システムだレディーユー悟られてはいまだそそうだったのね撃っていいんだよごめんなさいアキヒロ君大丈夫みんなでこのガンダムを止めてますます腕を上げたな小隊長君周りのサポートのおかげもあるだろうかねもっと素直に褒められないよこのインスタ宇宙世紀の歴史に入り込んだポストディザッターのガンダムフレーム
やるな、超隊長。これにその期待もなかなかのものだ。データ更新はちゃんとやってるからね。収集してるのはあなただけじゃないってこと。それは管理システムにとっても喜ばしいことだ。頑張ってくれたまえ。この面相相手では厳しい